Okay, so it's uh, been a little while since I've done a reverse video, um, but you can see here we're replacing spark plugs, obviously. Point out real quick, regular price on these at 13 each was 78 bucks. Um, buy them online. I went through topcashback.com. I get 11% back. Uh, I had five dollars off for previous speed perks as well as a 15 or 20 percent off promo code uh, through top cash back so instead of spending 78 bucks for these i got them for under 55 so with that said i've already swapped out all these plugs um, just to give you a quick look here i apologize nowhere good to see this and there we go all right what i pulled out of here somebody had put in previously this is a champion spark plug um, don't use champion they they do not hold up it's just a bad idea you can use them in your small engines if that's what you like but from my experience autolite and champion are unreliable and have led to breakdowns um, so yeah as you can see this is this is pretty much at the end of its life we're gonna move on from here let's take a look under the hood real quick as you can see this is the last uh, plug I installed. Uh, the other five are in. We're simply going to reinsert the boot attached to our ignition coil. Um, it would also be a good idea when you're replacing these to use a little anti-seize on your threads and uh, get a little dielectric grease to uh, put on them boots before you slide them back down on the new plugs because the old stuff is gone. This is a, let's verify, <laughs> oh, I can't find it, here we go, real professional, 10 millimeter, not that that's real important, that you see it anyway. This is the process you're going to go through to remove and install each of these, so I'm going to tighten this guy up and move on. Now, seeing as these are your uh, intakes, um, it's smart to keep those covered with anything, uh, anything that won't fall inside. All right, we have this little foam support that goes over top of the front of the engine uh, over your coil packs, so we will reinstall that now. All right, this is how this is going to go back on if you uh, forget after you've removed it. Um, I went an extra step here and went ahead and pulled off the throttle body. Uh, gave it a good cleaning. Um, surprisingly, after 78,000 miles, um, this really wasn't that dirty. So, good luck if that's your case. Um, this is bolted on simply with four of these 8mm uh, head uh, star bolts, but I use the socket. Um, they thread into this plastic housing. So keep that in mind when you're torquing this thing back down that you don't strip it and screw yourself over. With this guy tightened again, this clip installs here. Hopefully it's easy enough to put back on. There we go. Um, as well as this wiring harness, which I guess we will do that first now. Lesson learned. Push that red tab in, that's what locks it. Apologize if you couldn't see that clearly. This isn't too terribly important, but we'll keep it there. Okay, um, the next step is a little more difficult. Don't think I can show you on camera with any free hands. I'm gonna go ahead, pull my plastic bag out of the way. And you can see, um, obviously the uh, valves from the outside here not that that's important right now try and resituate ourselves here maybe a little difficult okay so it may take some finagling um, but what I'd forgotten is I had left two of these bolts in place made it a little harder to get there um, but right here, these pieces should line up, and uh, the easiest way to do this when reinstalling this cover is to lean the unit forward and insert these uh, 
male threads into the mounting brackets first. Then you can set this back in place. We've got our throttle body back in. Don't over tighten, but tighten enough. And if you look back here, you have these two plastic nubs, which are for uh, this air box here. Now, I'm not sure what we want to refer to this as, but here you've got your uh, mass airflow sensor. Um, you may want to clean that too while you're at it. But we're going to stop the video here and I'm going to finagle this back in place. All right, with that back in, and um, just as a side note, where these join together, uh, this plastic housing to the throttle body, this is just a rubber bushing. Um, it is difficult to get off the first time, but it slides back on fairly easily. Uh, and then you've got your wiring harness here for the mass airflow sensor. Snap that back in. And now we will, let's see, move on to the, nope, let's move on to our bolts. All right, now to move on to this bolt pattern, which is obviously important when you're going through removing this. You have one here, again, let's get some perspective. One here, one here, this hole here, this hole right down here. Make sure you put this back in before you secure the uh, air box. There is a plastic anchor for this. It's kind of insert, then you press this in, put that tension on it. Um, make sure when you're removing this to not break it, put your flat head under this part that looks like a nail. That takes the tension off and this will slide right out. Otherwise you're gonna break it and you probably won't care. You have a bolt here and a bolt here. Now these are seven of these eight millimeter dudes. Um, you've got these coarse threads because these are going into plastic. So again, do not over tighten. Then we also have the eight millimeter nuts that go on the front where we showed you previously. You've got your male threads here, here, as well as two in the back. You can see this one, which is for this mounting bracket. You got the uh, front bolt that we can see, as well as right behind this harness there. There's another one right here. This is the bracket. So, two more there. And lastly, we have a 13 millimeter. Um, this works its way down in here somewhere that I can't show you. We're going to go ahead and get this guy started, give you a better idea of where things are at. All right, there we go. We've got this to begin threading in, and if you can't tell where this is located, look for this mess of wiring next to one of your coolant hoses, and you have this plastic guy that sits on top of that. So that's where that goes. All right, I'll begin to thread these guys back together and move on. And just as a side note, um, it's gonna be really useful to have some of these uh, ratchet wrenches, um, especially on the front end. Uh, when it comes to the back on the smaller 10 millimeters, you can still get away with a socket. It's probably a better way to do it. Uh, but as far as this mounting bolt that's down below, you're gonna want that 13 millimeter ratchet wrench there. Okay, so we've got that back together. We can go ahead, you're gonna reinsert the antifreeze line here, coolant line back into this plastic uh, clamp. Um, this was a little tricky to get apart. I just used two really small flat heads and uh, worked it away from each other. So that's that. All right, again, before you tighten down the plastic air box here, start with this, get that in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. 
I do believe I'm missing one. Um, and we will be good to go here. Okay, so here's a better look. You can see the four standing up here. This one drops in, that one drops in, and you've got a guy hiding back here. And for the sake of time, I'll jump ahead a little bit before I snug everything down for real. We're going to reinsert our air. I believe this has to do with the EGR valve, um, the vacuum line, we'll just call it that. You're going to reinsert that on your plug here and your plug here. Obviously this is kind of self-explanatory. Probably going to take some uh, wiggling and working, but uh, we're going to fit that back on. And lastly is just the cover itself. And since I really shouldn't have to explain this part, just to make sure everyone understands, you've got your plastic nub here on the right, as well as hiding here and back here. And that fits here. Your front one fits there and the like. So all you got to do is work that back in, a little bit of pressure. And uh, again, check all your connections. Um, you'll need a 5 8 for the spark plugs, a couple of extensions obviously, um, but you guys will be good to go.